Nah, go fish. Hey Rich, you ready? Uh, I'm really busy right now. Go fish. We're going to my parents like we always do on Christmas. I'm really busy right now. Oh, Richard, come on. I'm really sick, I can't go. I hung the shirt you're supposed to wear in the closet. Is this European cut? Hey everyone, welcome to Break It Yourself. Today, we're gonna be grilling a leg of lamb for our holiday meal. This video is sponsored by Meter. They sent me the leg of lamb from Porter Road Butcher. So that's the leg of lamb that I'll be grilling today. Also, they released a new product called the Meter Plus, which has a Bluetooth repeater that gets your range up to 165 feet versus about the 33 that you got on the older version. If you wanna check out the older version, I have a review that you can use here. If you're interested in buying one, you can use BIY10 at checkout on Meter's website to get 10% off until December 31st, 2018. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna do our seasoning. And our seasoning was very simple. It was salt, pepper, cut up garlic, as well as herbs de Provence. We mixed that up with a little bit of olive oil. And then what we did is we just threw it in a blender just to get it really mixed and get that garlic nice and fine. You could just mince the garlic and then mix it by hand. We threw it in the blender. Also, we made slits in the leg of lamb and we put in little pieces of garlic as well, probably somewhere on the order of like eight to 10. This is a very small leg of lamb. I think ours was three to four pounds. For our grilling, we use a Kamado Joe. If you're interested in a Kamado Joe, you can check out this video here of why we selected that grill over a big green egg or other types of smokers and grills. Yeah, we really love our Kamado Joe. This cook is gonna take place between 300 and 350 degrees on the grill. And we're not gonna go for a time, we're gonna go for an internal temperature of the meat, which obviously we will be using meter to do that. We wanna go for a medium rare, so between 130 and 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And you don't want to cook the meat until it actually shows a temperature between 130 and 135 degrees Fahrenheit because it's going to keep increasing in temperature even after you pull it off, it's gonna keep cooking. So I think we're gonna to shoot to pull it off maybe around 125, somewhere between 125 and 130. This will be the first time that we've done a lamb leg on the Kamado Joe. So I'm not 100% sure of where this temperature is gonna land. What we might find is that we need to pull it off a little bit sooner or maybe pull it off a little bit later. We're gonna get the grill started and then we're gonna put our leg of lamb on. One of the nice things about meter is that it'll actually estimate a time remaining for the cook. So if you put in that you're doing lamb and that you want it to get to 135 degrees, it will calculate um, based on your grill temperature and based on how quickly the meat temperature is rising, it'll estimate when the cook is going to complete and then it'll also tell you when to pull it off. For our cook, meter told us to pull it off around 124 degrees. I was actually busy when that happened and didn't pull it off until it got a little bit hotter than that, so that's absolutely my fault. What ended up happening is that our temperature actually rose closer to 140, so it was a little more done than I would have preferred. I wanted that 135 medium rare and we kind of crept up into that medium range instead of the medium rare. Overall, I think the leg of lamb came out great. Even though it was slightly 
overcooked. I won't say overcooked. I mean, it got to like a, between 140 and 145 degrees, which is medium. I would have preferred medium rare, more around 135 degrees instead of 140 to 145. But still, it was an awesome cut of meat. So shout out to Porter Road because it was absolutely excellent. I couldn't get over how juicy it was. I mean, the cutting board, once I took it off, was just overflowing with juice, especially for such a small lamb leg. It was just packed. It was so juicy. It was very, very good. The rub that we put on it was incredibly easy. The prep time was probably around 15 minutes, and then the overall grill time ended up being just a couple of hours until we, you know, we got to that temperature. I would advise you to be careful. Pull it off sooner than I did. I waited um, until it was over 125 internal and it rose almost 20 degrees so between 15 and 20 degrees so watch out for that meter was telling me to pull it off sooner but I was doing something and I couldn't get there and actually do it so it stayed on a few minutes longer um, you know which obviously got that temperature up but overall I think it was an awesome cook to do especially in the holiday season we did ours for Thanksgiving so I'd encourage you try it for Christmas or whatever holiday we thought it was a great cut of meat, especially if you like lamb. Um, thanks again to Meter for sponsoring this video, and I'll say it again, if you use BIY10 at checkout, you'll get 10% off. I'll have links in the description below to either buying it through Amazon or directly through their site, as well as some links to some other stuff that I use. They are affiliate links, so you will be um, supporting the channel if you use those links, and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching Break It Yourself. It's been an awesome 2018. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs me up, and we'll see you next time.